Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown for Daily Manna for Your Soul. Happy Thursday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement, something to help you along your way. And today that word is time to turn the tables. Oh, can I tell you, have you ever been under the attack of the enemy and you felt like maybe the enemy was getting the best of you? I'm here to tell you that you ought not feel like that. You ought to never feel like that because you have the whole army of heaven. You you have all the power of heaven at your disposal. Oh, God is on your side. God is for you. And if God be for you, uh, who can stand against you? You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I'm here to tell you when the enemy comes against you, it's time to turn the tables. Oh, uh, you know, I'm reminded over there in 2 Samuel chapter 23 of a man by the name of Benaiah. Benaiah relied on the power of God uh, to get things done. Oh, I'm, I'm reminded of the time that he faced two Moab warriors. They were great warriors, mighty warriors. There was two of them. And Benaiah went against them all by himself with the help of the Lord. And he was able to overcome them and defeat them. There was another time when Benaiah was tracking down a lion on a snowy day. He tracked him down into a pit. Two went in, him and the lion, but only one came out and that was Benaiah. Then there was another time when Benaiah ran up against an Egyptian giant, a great warrior, a giant giant. Oh, he was armed with, with a great spear. Benaiah just had what amounted to a walking stick, but Benaiah was able to disarm him, defeat him, destroy him, and kill him. I'm here to tell you uh, because Benaiah knew that even if the situation looked insurmountable, oh, because of the God that was on his side, uh, he was able to turn the tables. See, 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 Benaiah learned how to turn the tables um, from David. Oh, David taught him how to have faith and not fear. David taught him how to be willing to go in to fight. And David taught him the biggest lesson of all, to be in right relationship with the Lord God. Because when you are in the right, when you are in right relationship uh, with the Lord God, and God is on your side, I'm here to tell you, there is nothing that you can't do. Oh, the enemy wants you to live beneath your privilege. He does not want you to understand that that you can call on heaven for strength, that, that you can look to the hills from which cometh your help. The enemy doesn't want you to realize that. He just wants to attack, 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 and have you believe that there is no hope and there is no way out. But I'm here to tell you uh, that you are meant to be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, in everything you do. So whatever the enemy brings against you, uh, even if it looks like he's winning, I'm here to tell you that you can turn the tables. Oh, you got the power of heaven on your side. You are anointed for victory. You are called for victory. You are placed you, you, you are placed down for victory. You are you have walked in victory. You are walking in victory. You are walking in faith. You are walking in courage and you are walking in the anointing of God to get the job done. You have the power within or uh, you have the power within uh, to overcome anything the enemy brings against you. You have the power to to turn the tables, to turn it around. No matter what the enemy is coming against you with, or be it be sickness, turn the tables. Or be it depression, turn the tables. Or be it be it discomfort, turn the tables. Or be it anguish, turn the tables. Be it sadness, turn the tables. I'm here to tell you, you can turn the table with any attack that the enemy has because he can't win because he can't overcome the anointing of God and he definitely can't cross the bloodline uh, of Jesus Christ. Turn the tables and you'll see the victory. Look, you have an awesome day. You be blessed of the Lord. Be encouraged knowing that God is on your side and he is going to help you turn the tables uh, and turn the tide to victory. Look, you have an awesome day. You be blessed of the Lord. Peace.